it's kind of hard. Like you can you can outthink a toddler pretty much like any day of the week. And so uh, super intelligence gets us at these levels where you can potentially do things that are completely different and basically, you know, new scientific theories. And we last time we talked about, um, you know, new, new stable forms of matter that were being discovered by these kind of narrow systems. But now you're talking about a system that is like has that intuition combined with the ability to talk to you as a human and to just have really good like rapport with you, but can also do math, it can also write code, it can also like solve quantum mechanics and has that all kind of wrapped up in the same package. And so one of the things too that by definition, if you build a human level AI, one of the things it must be able to do as well as humans is AI research itself. Yeah. Or at least the parts of AI research that you can do in just like software, like, you know, in, in, by coding or whatever these these systems are designed to do. Um, and so, so one implication of that is you now have automated AI researchers. And if you have automated AI researchers, uh, that means you have AI systems that can automate the development of the next level of their own capabilities. Right. And now right. you're getting into that whole you know singularity thing where it's an exponential that just builds on itself and builds on itself, which is kind of why um, you know it, it, a lot of people argue that like if you build human level AI, super intelligence can't be that far away. 